What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog here at Throttle. We're still in quarantine down here in San Diego, but we're working some limited shifts here at the shop and I had to come down today. Super quiet. It's like a ghost town in this joint. We're going to continue working on the Subaru as we can. As you guys know, we've uh, delayed the sweepstakes because of all of the COVID-19 stuff going on. Thank you guys so much for being patient with us while we get this car sorted and get everything done on it. Now today, the boys from Auto Glass Masters of Temecula, California came down. You guys have seen them on our videos before. For. They do all of our glass work when we need uh, windows fixed or any uh, type of removal or uh, reinstallation. These guys are our experts. So they come down uh, from their shop to our shop. Huge shout out for coming down today during all this madness. Um, I'm going to stay away from them and let them do their work. bracket and everything is already put on that one and then at this point after the glass is in you just slide the old mirror back onto that bracket you just screw it down Masters makes this look so easy. In under an hour, these guys are in and out of here. We got a new piece of glass in here. They reaffixed our existing mirror with all the wiring, and the glass looks epic. No plastic clips broken. Anything that did break was replaced, and they did bring those with them, so that's awesome. So if you guys are in the market for some glass work and you're in Southern California, hit up Auto Glass Masters out of Temecula. Another epic job by them. Thanks, boys. And we got our mail today, and inside the mailbox, we got a nice little package from our friends over at Premium Auto Styling. Shout out to Daniel. He hooked us up with a bunch of the Subaru vinyls that we needed to uh, sort of continue with our theme here. We got our badge overlays, which are black, gloss black with a satin uh, floral yellow. Inserts for the front grills, and he sent those in two different colors, in gloss black and fluoro. And then he also sent two options for our rear third brake light, which is, uh, red uh, tinted black also sent along a nice squeegee as well as a razor knife to use for the installations so i'm going to go ahead and actually work on knocking these out uh, many of you know i used to do vinyl for a living so this is a pretty straightforward and simple install for me so i'm going to go ahead and work on these now and this is what i was talking about the third brake light so as you can see on these cars they're white daniel gave us the option to either do it in red to match the taillights or uh, smoke black so I need to make a decision on which one we're going to use. But I'm going to start with the inserts for the grills, the front bumper grills, and also the emblems. And then we'll move on to that other stuff later. One of the projects that I've been wanting to do on this car centers around the vents that uh, we had SOS Customs mold into our Mountain Rider kit. As you guys know, the STI has an actual STI badge that goes over top of that. I think maybe even just more than the STI has it. WRX has it as well. What I did was I ended up heating this up and actually reshaped it and then trimmed off both ends, cleaned it up a bit so that uh, we can actually put these back on and I actually reshaped it to fit the curves of our fender, which the other fenders weren't as drastic. So I had to heat it up and basically just keep going back and forth between the heat gun and the, the fender and just keep kind of molding it with my hands. And I think I got it close enough. We're gonna try it out. I applied some 3M tape to the back. These were only held on with 3M tape. Um, so we're gonna put them back on the same way. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the installs on the STI. Got the premium auto styling front, ba front and rear badge decals on. The, um, the side decals here which I'm not sure are gonna stay. 
I don't love them and Ricky's on the fence about them too. So we're gonna give it a day, see what we think. But we think it's too much, but we'll see. The next day. All right guys, what is going on? It's the next day. I know Mickey just finished up a couple projects yesterday, but we got some very exciting news. I just got off the phone with Bill from Delicious Tuning and all the logs we sent over previously, everything's looking good. So we're gonna be doing one or two more logs today under full boost and I'm going to drive the car uh, for the first time with some more power. So I drove the car when it was completely stock and that's it. And I only drove it like two or three times. So today's video should be pretty fun. I've got a little camera mount. I've got a uh, audio recorder as well. So hopefully the audio is crisp. Hopefully the camera quality is good too. Um, I'm excited. People in the comment section asking us when are you gonna tint this car? Why are you driving around in a fishbowl? I think I think today's the day. That's proper steep. We're gonna we're gonna not go that way. Alright, so we just made it over here to Tint World on Miramar Road in San Diego. This is our go-to place. Whenever we're tinting any car, they actually do taillight overlays and other stuff too. But anyways, the car drove beautifully here. There was no rubbing at all. Seriously, no issues. Now, we didn't do any full, full, full boost pulls. I actually think that the camera quality may not be as good as I thought. I could see it kind of bouncing around. Scott, what do you think? Pretty good. Can I take this in the canyon? Like <laughs> it's not ready yet, but once it's done. So you guys are still open, right? Protective services for people's skin, you know, UV needs. Services for, uh, you know, wheel tire balancing. Yeah. Little changes we can do for you, brake services. Whatever oh, okay, cool. We're here to help people, anything they need through this whole epidemic, so. So, so I was just telling them that, that here at Tint World, they do a lot more than just tinting, right? Overlays, he's telling me, I didn't know you did like maintenance and stuff like that. Basically keeping people on the road. So, um, you know, I know a lot of shops, a lot of places are kind of shut down right now with all the coronavirus stuff. These guys are open, uh, taking care of customers. So if you need anything, Check out the link in the description. Come by, see Scott uh, or Jay, and they will take care of you down here. So, I think what we're gonna do is kind of keep it simple on this. I think just 20%, no windshield or nothing like that. I should do the new Nanoflex film, the same thing we did on TJ's board. The Nanoflex provides the most protection against infrared. Infrared is what causes heat, glare, destruction in the face. You look at a guy that drives trucks, for instance, for 20 years. Mm -hmm. The side of his face looks like a raisin. The side of normal. <laughs> true. Raisin of That's true that. The sun, the UVA, yeah. B, C. So Nanoflex is the best product to block the heat, protect the interior, reduce the glare. Huge shout out to these guys here. Always take care of us. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. So the next clip you're gonna see is this car all tinted out. The guys just got back from picking up the STI. Ooh. So that looks nice. So we went with 20% all around. Nothing super, super crazy, but man, that really does look way better.
So I'm out there, I'm boosting around. Car feels good. First full like boost pull. Yeah. We gotta hear a weird noise and then we got no more boost. You wanna know what it was? Right. Came out. Come here. I got a little scared. I was like, why is this thing? I, I, I stopped and I was like, hey, it's driving all right. What did you do? <laughs> did you see the problem? Uh, this has to be piping. <laughs> You're looking right at it. What? I don't see anything wrong. You don't? Not you sure? You don't see anything wrong? No. Nothing. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the intercooler pipe right on the throttle body popped off. It's normal. <laughs> this man was looking at it for about five minutes. Well, you really <laughs> can't tell from here. <laughs> Just tighten them up. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys saw, we had a coupler fly off, which is not very uncommon. It was a little bit alarming. So yeah, those types of things happen, um, but that's why we go and test drive things. So now that that's done, and now that I just donated a 10 millimeter, there we go. Alright, now that I just found the 10 millimeter, let's go out for another test drive now, and uh, let's see how she does. Alright, so one thing I'm pretty sure we never actually showed you guys was how the new Grimspeed exhaust sounds. So um, I'm gonna set the camera down behind the exhaust and we're gonna show you guys. Here we go. I cannot believe how amazing this car sounds from the inside too and I don't know if it's because there's no door panels on or something it's really loud the blow off valve is incredible sounding <laughs> so when TJ was coming down here I saw something fly out I know you can't order windows out I left the light in the uh, where was it I don't want to tell you underneath Underneath the engine bay. Oh my god, look what happened to it. Was it under the hood or underneath the car by the starter? It's oh. on a lower control arm. Oh my god. It hanging on a magnet. Oh, so it survived pretty on, good. Dude, it still works. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Eastwood. Eastwood. The light survived a third gear pull on a Supra. Jeez. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. This car freaking moved. So I've got a little bit more data logs to send back to Bill. Um, we're still unsure when the car is actually going to be able to hit the dyno, but at least the car uh, is now tinted. Uh, we do need to get in alignment, um, but the tune is pretty freaking solid and uh, everything feels awesome with the car. No rubbing, brakes feel great, no overheating, nothing like that. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you have not subscribed and you like this content or if you've seen some of our other builds and you want to see more of that, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.